I think this is going to be a raw reality video. I think this would be really fun. This is a great two-year-old that is currently for sale. She's a chick's loaded gun out of a Jack's Electric Spark mare named Electrify Me. Um, this filly's name is probably one of my favorites. Her registered name is Dragonfire. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And she's about as far from Dragonfire as they get. She's a, she's a sweet, sweet, good body, big, thick two-year-old. Um, I kind of like her a lot. Um, so, you know, raw reality, this is what it's going to be. Uh, we're having some fun with this. I, I'm going to train on this horse a little bit. I'm going to work through some of the stuff. I've been working on the turnaround with her. So, you know, there's, there's going to be a bunch of that. We kind of play with the spin a little bit and I'm, I, you know, she's had nine, 90 days, maybe, you know, I don't quote me on that. I can go back and check exactly on how much, uh, time she's had under saddle but she's been here oh, since the since the 18th of July now so we're getting on just about a month here that I've been riding her uh, and, and a great girl up north uh, Prince George started her before she came here uh, she does a, a great job with these two-year-olds I love riding behind her it's uh, it's pretty cool they're, they're real honest and nice uh, they come with a really good feel so this mare's got a lot of stop and she's got a pretty good movement in the front end. And so I'm going to spend a little bit of time just working on a few things with her. Um, I start more and more. I've been playing around starting in the Bozelle. Uh, I like the idea of being able to draw on them a little bit. Um, they know the halter. They know that feel because we got them broke as yearlings. You know, they kind of understand, you know, when you draw on their nose like that. They, they knew that from the ground. And so I, I've just found more and more that starting these good two-year-olds like this, it just keeps them a little mentally softer. Um, they're not fighting me with their face. They don't get to, you know, messing around in their teeth or their lips or anything like that. So I've been riding more and more in the Bozelle and the Hackamore, whatever you want to call it, um, just with the feeling that I can sort of cup my hands. You know, when you got a good shaped Hackamore, you can sort of cup your hands around that horse's nose and just kind of draw it around a little bit, you know, and they just stay soft and loose. So I'm going to jog this one around a little bit. I'm going to work on the turn, but the first thing I got to do is get her moving her feet. I'm going to jog her around a little bit and just, you know, get her loosened up. Try to keep her between my hands. The greener the horses are for me, the wider my hands are. You see, basically a finished horse, I want to ride it around one-handed. So basically, the greener this horse is, the more I put my legs around it, Kind of push it up there, make it get straight up into Bozelle. I release her for getting straight, you know. She can go to the left a little bit because I am going left, but I want her to step up and keep her rib cage between my legs, you know, and kind of push her up in that Bozelle. When she picks her belly up a little bit, I'm going to release her. You'll see her drop her nose in there, but I'm not pulling her nose down. I'm actually lifting her back with my legs, you know. And so I've got to make sure that she stays focused and just stays with her front feet between my hands. If I start to move my hands over here, she should get her front feet back between my hands. If I move my hands this way, she should get those front feet back between my hands. And as the horse gets broker, you can get to there where you got your hands together and they start to come off that outside rein. Now, right there, you see her lose that rhythm a little bit. And that's where I started to mess with her. She's got lots of stop, but you gotta watch on these good stopping ones already now that they don't start to slow their feet down when you touch their face. Otherwise you turn the corner, you go to run that horse down or you go to handle it in the circles or anything like that. And you're gonna find that they just have that little bit of scotch up on you and, and quit. So I'm gonna start drawing on her a little more, put my leg on, push her up in there and make her just keep that same rhythm as I, as I draw on her face and leave her alone. And I draw on her face and leave her alone. And I draw her around to the left here a little bit, touch both sides of her face release her forward you know the more she gets down there the more she should get soft enough to just kind of stretch out and draw on her face i don't want her to go left or right you know without me asking but i'm just gonna put my legs on ride her up into her face a little bit then let her go and ride her up into her face a little bit and let her go and as she starts to stretch down she'll start to learn when i draw on her face she goes kind of there and I can just hang her out there a little bit she doesn't quit on me for no reason try to get her now I also want to step her up from the outside you see so I'm gonna 
pick up that outside rein, kind of push her up there with my outside leg. And I want to make sure she stays up and forward. She can't throw that hip against my right leg. She's got to just come away from it and step up there, go forward. Step up there, go forward. I'll help her with that inside rein a little bit. Same thing here, pick up my left rein, reach back with that left leg, and keep her up there and forward. I don't want her to turn. She's got a pretty good turn on her already. I want her to turn. I just want her to step up, stay up there and forward. There. When she settles into that shape, kind of chuck her out there. But as I draw that left hand across, she's got to step up. See that? Push up into that turn. There we go. At this point, I don't want her to fall around with her shoulders when I move my hands. I kind of want her to stay forward up there, there. See, she kind of loses that rhythm a little bit. I'll tell you guys, I'm loving this new road mic. It's, uh, it's amazing. I jog around here. I got nothing to think about but training my horse because I know you guys can hear me good. That's amazing. Sorry? Lucas is over there talking and carrying on. So I don't know. I don't know if he said something smart or what. <laughs> he tries to heckle me a little bit now. It's kind of fun because I can heckle him back on the video and he can't do anything about it. I guess he could edit me out. <laughs> uh, it's just, just two-year-olds, you know. Everybody's getting turned in for dinner here pretty quick. And we're out here again on a Friday evening shooting videos. How much fun? So, I'm going to. I'm going to keep messing with her until, there, she wants to quit on me, push her up there, keep that forward. You see, she's got to keep that same rhythm all the time. I don't care if I turn that hard, get up there. You know, you see, she kind of quits on me. Don't worry, when we get to turning her around, I'll, but I want her to step up in that bridle. Push, 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 push. When she settles there, good. Draw. See, draw. Now she's starting to stay between my hands. Kind of quit on me there a little bit, but you could see her think about it. She thought, no, forget it. I think I'll stay forward. Now I'm going to take my leg off. Woo. Woo. I feel like it's going to have a lot of stop, you know. So that's one thing, you know, you just try to keep their feet moving. I don't mind at all if she gets a little bit talking or busy, you know, you just keep them focused. Right now you're just trying to teach them they got to stay forward. These good rainers, you know, I really find that these very, very well bred rainers they've got so many breaks they got so much stop in them that you really are working hard you know more you're working harder to keep them forward and smooth and strong and and running good and you're not working nearly as hard on getting them stopped because they've got that built in you know, these are big stopping horses from from day one so you'll see i pick up on the outside of that horse and you know put my jeans against her and she's got to start coming away from that outside rein. <laughs> See, and if she loses her focus, we'll just go back to work, you know. But that's a real good example of a horse staying between the reins. You know, I'll take a hold of it a little bit, push it up there. You know, she should stay between the reins, keep her back up. You know, if she gets back to me and starts to focus on me again, easy, we'll slow down. But you see, if I pick up that outside rein and reach back with my jeans here, she should start to get around with that front end pretty smooth. And she knows when I draw on that outside rein, she knows to get her nose there. And I'm going to release her now and go forward because I'm... She says, no, I'm good. I'll turn. I'll let her go forward and release her out here forward. Put my hand down and let her know she can stay forward for now. I mean, this, this, is, a, this is a pretty pretty talented young filly. Okay, so you see... Already when I start to take hold and put my leg on, you see where her neck goes forward and down. There, right there. And that's kind of what I want in the beginning. I want that nice big step. She knows if she releases her neck down there. Now here she elevated a little bit. That's because she's not forward enough. So I'm going to push on her. I'm going to jog her out of here. So here, stay forward. You got to stay up with your back. You got to stay moving with your feet. Easy. I'm gonna walk again because I don't really need to chase her into the turn. But I'm gonna pick up that left rein again. And she should kind of drop her nose down there. There it is. You see, and if I put my leg on, 
she knows to step up off that outside leg now. There, I'm going to push her up again, and I'm going left right there. I'm catching her with that left rein left leg a little bit. Just getting that turn started, and, you know, kind of put a little pressure on her. Step her up there. She's got to stay between the reins, you know. Slow down. She doesn't have to go fast. Pick up that left rein. See, if I put my leg on now, that left spur, and you see her, like, hang her little nose there. Now she's losing that forward motion, so I'm going to chase her back up there because that she gets a little stuck on that left rein left leg. Get her out of there. Reward her for being forward. Here we go. We're going to pick up that left rein. Pick up that left rein. As soon as she gets there, kind of release a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting too much sucked back, so we're going to go chase her out there. Release her, let her know that forward is good. Pick up that left rein. Push her up there, push her up there, push her up there, push, get up there, get up there. There you go. Gonna walk again. Ah, she lost that rhythm. Push her up there again, push her up there again. And I'm just getting her off that outside rein. I'll help her with the inside rein, obviously. It's a, it's a two-year-old, but as soon as she starts to bring that foot around. Hey, easy. There we go, pick up that left rein. Can she stay forward now? Yeah, there's a little bit mentally, she just is thinking out to the door. So I'm gonna go do something else for a little bit. Let's see what we got for other ideas and push her up a little bit. I'm gonna go, cause you never know. I mean, these two year olds, I might go over here, push on it a little bit like that. Just get it real broke in his body. So it knows, it knows to just keep its shoulders and its rib cage between my legs, between my hands. Chase her up this way. Forward, 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 forward. Get her around, there you go. Forward, forward, forward. I love being able to take hold of them, get them up there, and they just stay in that cool shape, you know? Pick up that left rein again. Let's see? So I might pick up on her, back her off a little bit, you know, see if I can get that inside front leg out of the way just a hair, and then we'll open up, step her around that way a couple times. Yeah, there you go, that's better. See, and that was almost more effort than I really needed, but you know, at least she, at least she picked up there, kind of new. So I'm gonna just put her back where she belongs there. There we go. There we go. Hey. You know, so most of it is just really at this stage for me is getting them really broke, you know. I guess that's the thing, you know, being a being a reining horse trainer. I mean, I think being a horse trainer at any level, you really have to be an athlete, you know. I've seen a couple articles about that going around. You really have to be an athlete. You got to be able to get in to all those places on that horse's belly and stay balanced in the middle and you know, kind of push on them. Find all those areas of resistance, be able to take hold, get it soft, release it, you know, get them, get them where they want to stay between the reins, you know. Go over here, push on it over here. You know, if they can take all that pressure, you know, and you're honest and fair with them, I guess it comes back to the same thing. 
they need to know where to go from the pressure you put on them and i've said this lots of times and second you need to give them enough time to go there when you pick that hand up put that leg on give it enough time to go there let it know oh that's where you gotta go then then pick up that right rein so here now you should go over here Woo! that's a bad idea we don't want to fall down so there was you know just too sucked back not enough forward and push that horse back up again it's not a big deal push it up off that right rein right leg you know pick up that right rein maybe Woo! there we go there we go now we'll ask it again walk There we go. So, you know, it's most of it's that. I think there's no real magic to getting these two year olds confident and happy. You know, they just, it's like anything else. They need to know what the boundaries are, they need to know what you're capable of doing with them, um, they need to know their own capabilities. And, and I think that's the best part. I love this mare. She's so. So solid, so thick. She feels so good to, to pressure up a little bit and push on. She takes the heat a little bit. You know, she doesn't get cranky or sour with me. She never, she never really argues with me or wants to fight about it. She mostly just tries to do it better. You know, she's really soft and she moves her feet good. I, uh, I'm kind of liking this one. So now I'm going to go into that rib cage, but a little bit closer to the front, and I'm going to see if I can't pick her up over here and get a hold of that side of her face and push her shoulder in a counter bend. And again, I'm just kind of, on these guys at this point, I'm just trying to find where all the pieces are. See if I can handle it, I'll go over here. See if we got the same thing over here. Put that left spur in, try to push that shoulder around. It's a little more sluggish here, and that's kind of where that turn wasn't as good that way today. It went to turn a little bit, and she just didn't have the, she didn't have quite that step off that left leg so it's kind of woo see she wants to go back to the left a little bit there there we go there we go and so it's kind of fun you know you i'm hoping in these raw reality kind of deals you're going to see these horses that i've got in training and you know a lot of them will be for sale probably there'll be be horses that are here in the barn for sale and horses that i'm schooling on every day and you get to see how they work and what I do to make them look that way, and hopefully you guys get something out of it. You know, I'm just uh, I'm just here playing my own game and messing around. I kind of make it up as I go, I guess. You know, everybody helps me out. I go watch guys ride. I go ask questions. I go ride by other people. I go take clinics myself, and I come home and try to fit it into what I already know. And you know, I'd like to think that these guys get cooler and softer better broke every time I go out and ride by somebody else and put myself under the microscope now she's I'm just messing with her a little bit here because she still is kind of thinking left you know so I just kind of every time she's thinking left I just pick up and I'm gonna release her for thinking right you know think right release her for thinking right she's still you see she's still thinking left a little bit release her for thinking right a little better pick up Release her for thinking right. Is she gonna think left? Ah, she's gonna think left. Ah. You see, and Raynan's a steering competition, so you know all this is good. I just get to steer on this horse. She says, oh, I'm gonna think left a little faster. So I said, Well no, we're gonna keep thinking right until you figure out how to think right. And all of this stuff is gonna help me. You know, I'm still picking up on that outside rain. Make sure she thinks right. She goes, oh, she thinks left. She says, ah, let's think right. Ah, thinks left. Ah, let's think right. Whoa. Ooh. There you go. Let's think right. There we go. Who?
I'm just gonna let her figure out what I want when I pull on her a little bit. She's kind of elevating her, elevating her neck there. Okay. There you go. Pick up that left rein, come away from that left leg, release. There you go. I'm gonna ask her again, see if she can stay soft. Elevates a little bit still. Just draw on her till she doesn't. There you go. Kind of release her, but she's got to keep her feet moving. There we go. Go around to the right again. Try to release her at some point in there. There we go. Draw her back again. There we go. So, you know, it's all that little stuff that, you know, you just, you can come out on a Friday night and, you know, I probably don't lope as many circles as I used to. I know I don't lope as many circles as I used to. Um, I do a lot of this stuff, but just keeping them really broke. We got so many years to lope circles on these rainers and put pressure on them. And, you know, I think the more you can do in this little stuff, messing around with them, the longer they're going to last and the more miles you're going to be able to run as a show horse you know so try really hard not to override them and just teach them stuff you know if i put my leg on and draw on you you go there if i draw on you and take my leg off you go there you know and if you can do that sort of stuff it can get really cool so anyways thank you guys i mean it's it's kind of fun i feel really comfortable just getting on these good horses and doing what i do every day i guess that's the raw reality of what it takes to train horses like this uh you know, for 15 or 20 years or 30, 40 years, whatever. So I want to thank you guys. Um, like, subscribe. Um, we're chasing the subscribers right now. I mean, it's so much fun and there's so much material to uh, to put out there. I think that, uh, you know, I love sharing this. So if you guys can help me share it, um, hit that uh, notification <laughs> button. Hey, I'm talking. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later.